This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Let's get right into your top local stories today. The former National City Teacher of the Year, Jacqueline Ma, was in court for her sexual misconduct case. She is accused of sexually abusing two former students under the age of 13. Here's new video from inside the courtroom this morning. Jacqueline Ma appeared alongside new representation. The attorney requested more time to get caught up on the case. The judge vacated the original trial date of April 26th. Instead, they will set a new trial date on May 30th. This morning's hearing was the first time Jacqueline Ma appeared in front of a judge since she faced new enhanced charges in January. She was already facing 21 felony counts for alleged sexual contact with two former students ages 11 and 12 when she was a teacher at Lincoln Acres Elementary. In January, several of the 21 charges were updated after prosecutors discovered one of the victims felt they were under duress when the alleged incidents occurred, meaning the child felt forced to go along with the lewd acts due to Ma's position as a teacher. Ma pleaded not guilty to the enhanced charges and remains due to stand trial. She faces life in prison if convicted. Jury selection is happening now in a wrongful death lawsuit against the Chula Vista Police Department after what happened four years ago. A Chula Vista family says they're seeking justice for their loved one who died in police custody. This is the second time the family has filed a wrongful death lawsuit. The first one was dismissed in 2021. In 2020, family members of 56 year old Oral Nunes called 911 for help. He was trying to jump out of a second story window. The family told NBC7 Nunes was having an adverse reaction to a medication. According to the DA's review, Nunes tried to run away from officers and was tackled to the ground. He was later placed in a maximum restraint wrap device. He was put into an ambulance where he stopped breathing and went into cardiac arrest. Nunes was taken to Sharp Chula Vista where he died. An autopsy showed his cause of death as a sudden cardiorespiratory arrest while restrained in police custody with the manner of death undetermined. No drugs or alcohol were detected in his system. The DA's review cleared the Chula Vista police officers involved, saying there was no evidence of significant acute trauma caused by them. Here is the family's attorney. His daughter will probably never dial 911 again because though she called for help, the city sent trained killers. We will bring you the latest results on NBC7.com. South American organized crime groups have been burglarizing some of San Diego's most affluent neighborhoods. It's known as burglary tourism. They apply for tourist visas online and then rely on what investigators consider a weak vetting system to get approved in, into the U.S. Investigators say they're tough to catch because they stick around for a while, burglarize a bunch of homes, and then return to their home country and are replaced by a new group of thieves. The DA says they carefully select homes to target, often along canyons and other open space areas, which they use to slip in and out undetected. They also climb to a second level often because sometimes people secure their first level, but they don't have alarms on the second level. That has become a huge target. The district attorney recommends leaving lights on and keeping your curtains or blinds closed and installing motion sensor lights and alarms, anything that might scare these thieves away. Chief Meteorologist Sheena Parveen joins us now with a look at a beautiful forecast. Hi, Sheena. Hey, Monica, as we head through the afternoon, you'll notice it's going to be warmer today, but beautiful weather, sunny skies, upper 70s inland around 70 at the coast and mountains will be around 70 deserts near 90. Tomorrow still looks great at the coast around 70 degrees. By Thursday, you'll notice more clouds with an onshore flow. We're actually going to cool down a little more Thursday with that onshore flow increasing, but we stay dry though, regardless of the clouds. Friday will still be cool. Saturday though looks great. Nice dry stretch all the way across the weekend. I'll show you everybody's weekend forecast coming up. And we want to see it. Thank you. A couple who owns a North Park restaurant is taking SDG and E to court. How they say the company's slow service caused a three and a half year nightmare. And today, students at Del Norte High are taking their studies outside the classroom to learn an important life lesson that can save lives. We'll have that story coming up. Stay with us. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 are teaming up to make a positive impact in our community. 
with Local Impact Grants, a grant challenge powered by Comcast NBC Universal. Local Impact Grants awards unrestricted funding to local nonprofit organizations making a difference by tackling everyday problems. Learn more about the program and submit your entry at NBC7.com slash Local Impact Grants. Applications must be received by April 19th. This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Welcome back. In North Park, a restaurant owners are taking legal action against SDG&E, saying the company cost them millions of dollars. The owners of Patisserie Melanie signed the lease for their restaurant back in 2019. They wanted to open just as soon as SDG&E finished electric and gas upgrades. But they say it took almost three and a half years to complete the work and the entire time they had to pay rent on the property that wasn't making them any money. I'm a public school teacher. We don't have that kind of money. And, you know, we basically had to pour all of our savings, cash out a lot of things that we wanted to save. SDG&E is expected to receive the lawsuit sometime this week. Police, firefighters, and medical helicopter were all called to the Del Norte High School this morning, but if you have a student there, don't be alarmed. As NBC7's Audra Stafford explains, it was all part of a very important life lesson. This awful scene that you see here in front of Del Norte High School isn't real. It is staged. No one is actually hurt here. But we see these types of real deadly drunk driving crashes happen way too often on our roadways. It's a horrific scene. One student not wearing a seatbelt is thrown through the windshield and killed. Another dies on the way to the hospital and a third is paralyzed. A fourth student, also a teenager, is arrested for DUI. Again, it's a simulated situation, but one the California Highway Patrol says is all too real. It's why they created the Every 15 Minutes program. The goal is to demonstrate to high school students the impact drinking and driving has on friends, families, and their entire community. I spoke to a couple of the seniors who helped act out today's crash scene. With prom and graduation right around the corner, they say they hope it sends a message to their fellow students. You can have fun and you can enjoy your last couple moments here, but you really need to be careful because like all of these things can really just be taken away from you in a moment. You know, life is short and there is possibility to, you know, keep going after high school. We have a whole life ahead of ourselves, and the best thing we can do is remain smart and remain intelligent with our choices. Like choosing not to drink and drive. From Forest Ranch, I'm Audra Stafford, NBC7. As part of the Every 15 Minutes program, the student playing the driver will be tried and sentenced for DUI, and tomorrow the school will hold a mock funeral. The CHP says they want to show teenagers that they're not invincible and that drinking and driving is never a good decision. If you've ever been involved in a car crash and can't seem to find the report, the CHP is launching a new portal to help you do just that. The online crash portal allows you to get digital copies of your crash report at no cost. You can simply visit the online portal website crasheschpca.gov. You can also scan the QR code on the card given to you at the scene of the crash. Chief Meteorologist Sina Parveen will have a look at your weather forecast right after this. Looking for NBC San Diego on Roku? The easiest way to find us is with Roku voice commands. Just press the microphone button on your remote and say live TV and then say NBC San Diego. If you don't have voice commands on your remote, just scroll down to live TV, click the purple icon, Go over to the left and navigate to news. Then head on down to NBC San Diego News. Once you've got us, make sure you add us to your favorites and we'll always be right there for you. NBC San Diego News on Roku. Hi there, I'm NBC7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. For today, it's going to be warmer. Inland valleys will be in the upper 70s and sunny. It's going to be a beautiful afternoon. For the coast, will be around 70. Mountains as well. Deserts near 90. Overnight tonight, we can see some patchy fog into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is going to be another warm day. The afternoon tomorrow looks great. Thursday, more clouds move in. Onshore flow returns. So we actually cool down Thursday and Friday. Over the weekend, fantastic weather will be dry, but Temperatures will start to rebound, so a little warming trend across the weekend, even for the mountains and the deserts. More coverage account on it at NBC7.com. Thanks for watching.